Hi there, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Today we're gonna to take a quick look at this Goal Zero Venture Jump Starter in Power Bank. Uh, this is a portable jump starter that's gonna help revive your dead 12 volt vehicle or equipment batteries. Uh, this is gonna be perfect for your cars, trucks, uh, ATVs, motorcycles, and boats with up to a six liter gas engine or up to a three liter diesel engine. Uh, this does have an internal 37 watt hour lithium ion battery that's gonna provide up to 10 jump starts off of a single charge. Uh, so it's gonna provide 400 amps of starting current or up to 800 amps of peak current. The battery clamps to get your battery charged are, uh, they come disconnected, so very easy to get them plugged in. Uh, you can see we've got this cover here that will pull back. And then over here, we've got these stacked ports. So we'll just take the plug here and line that up. And then we'll be able to attach to our positive and negative side of our battery, to get that jumped. If I turn this a little bit, you'll be able to see we have a indicator light here. It's currently flashing red and green. And that means that it's uh, connected to our jump starter, but it's not connected to our batteries. Uh, so it's given us that flashing red and green indicator. Uh, if that were a solid red, it would be, mean the opposite. Uh, so we would be connected to our battery, but it wouldn't be detecting a connection to our jump starter, which typically means that we don't have enough uh, power in our battery or our jump starter battery uh, to jump our vehicle or equipment battery. If that were a solid green, it means that it's sensing a connection from both our jump starter and our battery, so it's ready to jump. Uh, if it's a solid red and it has a tone or sound to it, uh, it's going to mean that there's a short detected. Uh, if it's solid red and it's beeping, uh, that means there's reverse polarity protected, so you've got your uh, positive and negative switched, and you need to move those around. Uh, luckily, you don't have to Remember that all, get it all memorized because they do have it listed on the back side here so you can very easily uh, troubleshoot anything that's going on. So next to where those uh, clamps are going to get plugged in, we're also going to have these two uh, 2.1 amp USB-A type ports that allow, uh, will allow you to charge your smartphones, your tablets, uh, headphones or portable speakers, that sort of thing so you can get that all charged up. And then up here, we do have our uh, USB-C port. Uh, so that is our input so that we can get our uh, lithium ion battery charged up. They do include a USB-C to USB-A uh, cable here so that you can get that plugged in and then plug it that into your phone charger or other USB type charger. They don't include one with this kit, uh, but should have one laying around somewhere that you can get that plugged into. Uh, it will only take about three hours to get this charged up, so not very long at all if you're plug in, plugged into the wall. Uh, this will also work with the uh, Goal Zero Nomad solar panel. Uh, so if you wanted to have more of an off-grid charging solution, uh, you can use that. It is sold separately. You can find it using that part number you see there on the screen. And that will take about six hours to get it charged up fully. So uh, we also have this uh, closure here that's going to help protect us. Gives it a uh, IP67 rating, so that will be waterproof up to a meter for at least 30 minutes. It's also going to help protect uh, any or protect it from any dust, sand, and debris from getting in there to our ports. Uh, so it's nice having that nice thick uh, cover there. Uh, we have a battery indicator button here that's going to show us those uh, LEDs on the inside there. So you can see we've got three um, lit up. There's a fourth one there that's currently not lit up, which means that this is at 75% power. If that fourth one was lit up, it'd be 100%. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of uh, how charged your battery is. That same button can be used to turn on our uh, 45 lumen LED light over here. So we've got several functions. It can serve just as a light, or 
It will also work as a strobe to get attention, or we can switch it to the SOS function. So if we're out in an emergency situation, we need to uh, try and get some help, we can use that light, or we can just use it as a flashlight to make sure that we're getting hooked up to our battery properly. If it's dark outside, hard to see, so we can use it like that. So you just have to hold that same button that uses, uh, lights up those uh, battery level indicator lights there. So this is a really uh, compact and lightweight design, very easy to take around with us. Uh, if we're looking at our dimensions, overall length, I'm going to say is right at seven and a quarter of an inch. Our width is four inches and our thickness is about one and one and a half inches thick. So it will be very easy to get stored in your glove compartment, trunk, or toolbox. It only weighs about a pound and a half. So very, very lightweight. Like I said, it does have that IP67 rating, uh, so it is going to be very durable for us. It works in temperatures from negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, but uh, they do also include this zippered carrying case. It's going to help us uh, keep everything organized. So we open that up. We've got main pocket here for our jump starter. We also have a couple other pockets here that we can put a charge cable in. And then we can get our jumper cables put in over here, something along those lines. So pretty easy to keep everything organized so it's ready for us the next time we need to use it. And we can just close that all up. Use the zipper here. Of course, that is going to add a little bit of size. Uh, so if you are looking to store this in a compact area, it's about 10 inches tall, uh, seven and a quarter of an inch wide, and about two and a quarter of an inch thick. Uh, just kind of firm carrying case. Kind of reminds me of an old CD case or something like that. that Might have used back in the 90s and early 2000s for those of you who had a bunch of CDs that you wanted to take around with you. So overall, a really nice option here to uh, give you some jump starting capabilities or in an emergency, allow you to charge up your smartphone, have a, a uh, emergency indicator light, that sort of thing, uh, so that you never are without power if you are needing it. So that completes our look for today. Again, I'm Michael with eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.